Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In the previous video, I showed you how you can add a custom uh, emoji to your organization. So by default, uh, it's set as enabled and everyone can add their own uh, emoji and the whole organization can do it. But I want to show you in this video how the administration can also set people that can delete it. So let's just see what we're talking about. I'm now in a chat. I will go to the smiley and choose emoji. I can choose from one of these uh, emojis that are listed. If I want to add, uh, I'll go to your organization emojis and I can see what is existing. I can choose another uh, image and I can give it a name. Let's call it 365 and I see a preview and now I added it um, that everyone can see and now I can add it and you see it's possible. Now let's see what is the default in uh, in the tenants. For this you need to be a, a Teams administrator. So I will go to the nine dots. I will go to the admin. I will go to the admin of uh, Microsoft Teams. So let's search. And under messaging, we will see uh, the first possibility to see that emojis is enabled. So I'm scrolling down and as you see, uh, where's messaging? Here we are. So messaging settings is we have custom emojis is activated. But if we go to managing policies, we will see the default global uh, policy. If we go in and we search, then we will see that if I search here, uh, uploading custom emojis um, is open for everyone, but deleting custom emojis is off. Now, if we want uh, specific people to that will be able to delete, what we can do is actually to create a duplicate of this or create a new uh, policy uh, that is exactly the same thing. And what we can do here is that for this one, we will enable this one. Um, now I'll show you also the article. Um, Oh, we need to give a name, so let's call it delete emoji. And now um, what we need to do is to assign people that will be able to, to actually um, delete. So I will mark it, manage uh, users, assign user, and I could put Alex that will be the person. I will add him. And now... Um, for this specific policy, he is uh, enabled also to delete. Now, uh, I'll show you in a different tenant uh, where I activated it, the delete for everyone. So let's see the experience. So now if I'm in a team and I will go to one of the emojis and I will choose one of them and do a right click, I can see who created it, when, and now I have the possibility to delete this emoji from the organization. If I do this, it will delete. I want to show you actually an article that talks about it. And um, let's just look and it will explain actually uh, all about it. So I will just look for emoji again and I will click on this. Uh, let's just, uh, here we are. So this article talks about how to use the emojis in Teams, how to create custom ones, and, and then we have the section of deleting emojis. So uh, first note is Team Admin may limit who can delete the customs, and if you are able to delete the emoji, you'll see the option when you right click to delete the emojis, select delete, confirm your choice. Deleting will take immediately, remove it from your list. However, it might take a few days 
to no longer show it to everyone. So, uh, and if you have a problem, clear your cache. So this is actually how we can um, control who, if, if at all, do we want uh, people to add custom um, emojis? And if we want to uh, set the deletion only for specific people, or we can add it for additional people. Uh, so this is a short overview. If you like my video, subscribe and see you in the next episode.